Hi. Uh, forgive me for not updating my uh, my channel for a while. I working in a job where you talk all day really hasn't made me want to talk. This morning I feel like a, it's the last night I went on a fire walk. Uh, and it was an interesting experience. It was good. I recommend it. Um, people were there for all sorts of reasons. Uh, there, was, there was more than a few people who had been dragged there by a you know a significant other or relative. Um, you know, it, it just as a, a gift or whatever. Uh, and there was a few people there who were just uh, reaching out for a spiritual experience, whatever that means to them. Uh, a few people there for catharsis, a few people there to break through their limits, as they say. Um, but every single one of them got a lot out of it. Everybody, without exception, even the people who did their best to try and stay cynical and uh, and uh, be beyond it. Everybody got something out of it very clearly. Um, and when we started, um, you know, we built the fire and then we had to let it burn down for a few hours. So we did an exercise where we broke an arrow. In fact, you know, I'll show you here. Here's uh, my arrow. Here, that was uh, originally in one piece. Uh, but what you do is you, you write on your arrow um, things that you want to break through. Uh, you know, a little message to yourself. And then you take it and you put one end up against the board and the other end right here, right above the bone in that little soft part in your neck. And then you press forward. <laughs> and I hope to God it breaks, which it always does, but you know. Um, it's an interesting exercise. There was, um, it was different for everyone. It, it happened differently for everyone. Sometimes it shattered into a million pieces. In my case, before I went up, I, I looked at this and I decided right there, that's when it's going to break. And it did. And I decided two pieces and it did. Um, that worked because of a clear decision in my mind that that's what was going to happen. A clear intent which is a rare thing in this world, to be very, very clear about what you're going to do and have no other thoughts in your mind at all, just the one thought. Very hard for me, hard for anyone. Um, but, you know, with a, a group of people there helping you focus and doing a chant or whatever, it, it helps clear out the cobwebs and get one single thought in your mind. If you can get a single thought in your mind, anything's possible. I didn't die. Um, you know, and, and a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, it's a trick arrow or something, believe me. As I moved forward, uh, I could feel the pressure building and building. It was already building before I really started moving forward. A uh, choking sensation hit me. And then I thought, what I always think, that in this life, you're growing or you're dying. And I wasn't, <laughs> if I died when trying to grow, I mean, so be it. You know, the, if I want to live my life uh, worried about my limits, I might as well already be dead. So I moved forward and it finally broke. There, it actually, it slowly bent and the pressure really pushed hard and then snapped. Um, I, it seemed slow. I guess to everybody else it was a half a second. Um, Anyway, so that was the arrow. And a lot of people went up. There was one person that went up uh, to do it, but couldn't get themselves to move forward and break the arrow. Um, and she was very, very brave. She made the decision not to do it because she couldn't focus. She couldn't focus her intention. And um, it was a. Uh, it was in, she was an interesting case because she. Um, she made the decision not to do it, realizing that she couldn't focus and, and she was she, her mind was everywhere. She kept thinking about what ifs. Uh, and so she didn't do it, but she tried a, a few times. She, I mean, she put it up to her you know, throat a couple of times, got ready to do it a couple of times and, and really, really knuckled down into the idea of doing it, but couldn't make the firm decision, it's time and go. Uh, that, that clarity never came, so she didn't. But it was very, very brave of her to face it.
And, uh, and you know what? Also brave of her to decide, hey, I, I'm not focused, this won't work. And, and to back off, despite the fact that everybody was staring at her, good for her. Uh, it was very, very brave to, to see that. Um, so, what else? Um, the firewalk itself. So we get out there, it's, it's dark, there's glowing coals, brightly glowing coals out there. We all take turns walking across. It was about, you know, six, you, you take about six steps to, to get across the thing. Uh, and the, the notion is that you look at your destination and you go there, regardless of what's between the, the starting and ending point. You just move and you, you're fine. Um, I, I'm not, I, I went about four or five times across those goals the, last night. And uh, on, of course, yes, bare feet. I got a little singed, but really I'm fine. Like, no real burns. I mean, there was there were little red spots on the one foot yesterday. Uh, but uh, I wake up this morning, there's nothing. And, uh, you know, and I have pretty delicate feet. <laughs> I, have, I have no illusions of being pretty tough. I've cut my foot on the sidewalk, literally. You know, so I, I but uh, like I said, you live your life by your limitations, you might as well already be dead. I needed to make sure to do this and make sure I was still, for, for me, what this was about was ensuring that I was still adopting the correct attitude about life in general. Uh, so for me, that's what I did. And then the second and third time I uh, set specific intentions. Um, nothing, you know, it, when it comes to, to ceremony of any kind, um, when you're trying to invoke something in yourself, uh, it's good to have a, a random ceremony, whether that's, uh, you know, with this incense stick, I hereby invoke a sense of clarity in the next hour. And you burn the incense stick and you'll have that sense of clarity. It's not that incense sticks grant clarity, but that you've declared, this is what I am doing. And then it happens in your mind. Some sort of physical gambit <laughs> um, is necessary a lot of the time to get yourself to do what you should just be able to do, but hey, you know, we're human and it's just sort of the way we work. So I thought a fire walk, great opportunity to um, set some intentions for things that I want to happen inside of me. I asked for clarity and I asked for uh, acceptance. So, yeah, I broke this arrow. And on it, uh, I wrote about fate and destiny and these notions I had about how in my life, the things that tend to happen are la 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 la. I have these sort of ideas that, uh, that like my life is written. They're stupid ideas and I've broken through them and they're gone. I already knew they were stupid. I knew they were stupid long before I went on a fire walk, but the yeah, ideas are addictive. They're very addictive. And uh, this is a great way to, to break through them. Um, I should have probably also focused on getting out of my own head and, and, and uh, getting over my addiction to cerebral melancholy, but that occurred to me after everything was done. So whatever. Um, I also took advantage last night of this new thing I've been starting to do where I uh, meet new people and really get into them. What's amazing about it I'm finding is that you know in life you tend to set up an echo chamber. You only pay attention to things that you already recognize. Uh, you you s manifest things that are already what, what you're already thinking about. It's difficult to get things into your life that you don't already have. So I'm finding that when I sit down with someone I don't know and ask them about themselves and find out about their lives and about their perspectives, I'm pulled out of my universe and into theirs. And it's great. It's the only way to find anything new in this universe. It was a good feeling. I don't know what else to say. I, I mean, I intended to be a lot more conclusive with this video about firewalking, but all I can tell you is it's a great experience. 
there wasn't one person there disappointed except that it ended do it you'll love it <laughs>